Hey guys. Hey dippity do. Kind of made my heart flutter. <laughs> Long story. Hey Pepper. I was going to do this tomorrow. I even had it planned for tomorrow. And then I um, I thought, no, nah, I'm not wasting my day tomorrow on this shit. Um, how's everybody's day going? Pepper, dippity do. <laughs> <coughs> not that you all aren't important. Of course you are. Hey, Johnny Cuddy. Hey, Allie's Nurse. Hey, Trixie's Firecracker. Uh-oh, Truthy. Well, I've been perma-banned, or, per yeah, perma-banned from Randy's. So, I know she's gone, she's gone live. But surely she's not going to talk about me, because... You don't perma ban somebody and then talk about them. So hopefully she's got a whole different message to touch on than me. So, okay, let's just get the elephant out of the room. You all saw me on Randy and Wendy's uh, panel with Natasha, right? Hey, sweet pea. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Puss in Boots. I hope you feel better. Well, Johnny, I'm going to touch on that a little bit. Because, um, first of all, there was a couple channels. Um, Juror and Country Joe. They were very nice. They were talking about the panel. I went over there. I said, hey, I told them my whole point was the fact that I don't like to see innocent people get scammed. And I don't like to see people like Randy and Wendy act like they don't support scammers when they do. So I called it out. Simple as that. It's, it's, it's nothing fantastic. It's just it is what it is. So, and um, I know um, another channel reached out to me, um, said we did a poll and you won. Um, I think it was Kim and, Kim and, Kim and Kraken, Kim and, I don't want to missay their names, but thank you. Um, oh, yes, they do, in my opinion, allegedly. In my opinion, allegedly. Um, what a way to cover your ass, in my opinion, allegedly. But, um, Crafton, Kim and Crafton, Crafton, whatever. Thank you for your kind words. And But I'm telling y'all right now, I'm not looking for a different community to go to. I am, uh, I ride solo. Um, it just so happens that, you know, I got a problem with, hey, cool gamer with somebody like Natasha. Uh, and so do you guys. I mean, I appreciate the invitations, and but I'm really not looking for a whole new community, and I don't expect this to... That's fine. Do a lot doubly doubly but so after the panel okay first of all what did anybody in here pepper says unprivate that live randy randy's not watching me she has banned me she has google banned me she's never mentioned me again so pepper you're gonna have to go tell her yourself hey closing arguments hey side eye uh did anybody watch Randy's chat? Because I didn't watch the chat. If there's one thing I've learned about Randy's chat, is they will chew you up and spit you out. So, did anybody watch the chat? Hello, closing arguments. Right, dippity-doo. I'm going to talk about that 
a little bit. Hey, not that Angela. Because Natasha went over to her channel. And I can't believe Randy. Okay, dippity do. Hey, Black Harden. Well, if I get banned for defending what's right, then, um, do Bali, do Bali, yeah. If I get banned from Randy's for doing what's right, then I'm okay with that. You know, I'm cool. But did the, did the chat chew up Natasha any harder than they chew me up? Because I didn't come back to my channel and start crying. But I didn't watch the chat either. And I even told Natasha not to watch it. Randy said my name. Well, I hope that bitch ain't streaming me because I you don't block somebody and then stream them. Hey, RK. Yeah, they weren't. I mean, it was a very short week standing still because they said yesterday or whatever day it was. I don't even remember now. Was it yesterday? They were signing off for the week. But obviously, they got something they need to address. And I'm sure what they're going to address is that Natasha went over to her stream, started crying. Okay, thank you, Trixie. Called out Randy's chat, her mods. Even called out Savage, which is Randy's friend. Hey, Kiki Ramblings, Black Arden. And Crystal. So, and then you hear Natasha say... I just, I just checked my phone, Randy. It's okay. So, Randy, you're willing to allow Natasha Cooper to call out your mods, call out your chat, call out your friend, and still support that swine? I would have loved to have been a little bird on that line because people in Natasha's chat started saying, I'm not going because Natasha had said she wasn't going back to Randy's ever again. And then people in the chat started saying they weren't going back to Randy's. And I'm sure that tripped something in Randy. So Randy had to call Natasha and kind of smooth that over. Hello, Jill. Uh, the truth, I went into Randy's once quite some time ago. I was critical of N Natasha, and she went insane. Swearing, yelling, the chat was wild, giving me rude. Oh, uh, let me tell you something. Randy's chat can, hello, Mander. M Randy's chat can chew you up. That's why I can't watch it when I'm on. Well, I'll never be on panel again because she has perma banned me and she's never speaking of me again. But she allowed Natasha Cooper to set dog her mods, dog her chat, dog her friend uh, Savage. And then she wants to call and kiss Natasha's sweaty, piggish ass. I didn't lie about anything on that panel. If anything, I didn't even bring up half of the shit Natasha has done. Now, let me tell you something about Gentleman Jack, okay? Seems like a nice lady to me. Like I told her yesterday. Keep your enemies close. I'm sure Randy was thinking about that when Natasha said she wasn't coming back to Randy's chat. Now, Natasha, don't take the live down because it's recorded. 
Hey, Johnny Cuddy. So I'm sure that was going through Randy's mind there. Hey, Mark Hall. Oh, no, I'm nothing like Bullhorn Betty. No, no, no. Take that back. Take that back, Mark Hall. I'm just not one that gets all stressed out over Bullhorn Betty. But um, I just found it amazing that Natasha is sitting there dogging Randy's mods, dogging Randy's chat, dogging Randy and Wendy, really, for not having control of their chat, Dog and Savage, which is supposed to be Randy's friend. That's okay, Mark. Um, and then Randy texts her when she says she's not coming back to Randy's channel. She'll never be in Randy's chat again. Ding. And you hear Natasha answer it and say, it's fine, Randy. I looked at my phone. And then Natasha admitted Again today, I believe, or yesterday, one of the days, that her and Randy have been texting back and forth. Really, Randy? You're weak. You're weak. Is Natasha hey, zero is having her supporters so important to you? That you would allow her to sit there and dog your chat, your mods, you, your host. <laughs> You're weak, Randy. Weak. Of course, Kiki. So, Natasha's latest scam, guys, okay? Now, here's what caught me. This is where Gentleman Jack kind of caught my attention. Because... Okay, Natasha went back and she donated $380-something to, um, I don't know, Missing and Exploited Children or something. And I even did a little short video saying, yay, Natasha blatantly lies to Randy. Eh, doesn't surprise me. Right, right. So, Natasha's talking about, okay, she started this new fund. It's for a class action lawsuit against mommy ramblings. Now, let's not forget the 20 grand that she raised for the last lawyer that she didn't get. But here's what caught my attention. While Natasha's talking about this bogus Hey, British. While, side eye. While Natasha's talking about this bogus class action lawsuit. And if she doesn't think for one minute that mommy ramblings, she, Natasha actually said, if mommy ramblings has ever doxed you, called you out, you can get in on it too. Do you think Mommy Ramblings doesn't have the screenshot of Lyndon doxing Mommy Ramblings' ex-boyfriend in your mod chat, Natasha? Do you think that's not out there? Do you think there's not hundreds of people that will run to Mommy Ramblings to bury your ass? There will be, let me make a prediction. There will be no lawsuit. But she says this. And don't y'all worry. Because that 20000 that you all think I just blew through and did nothing with. I'm going to use some of that and put it towards the 15000 I'm raising. Which, by the way, happens to be the exact amount she owes Gentleman Jack. Hey, Carla. Hey, Bombshell. But I'm going to use some of that 20000 that y'all accused me. I know. Merb is doing better than Natasha so far on the... I think it's all bullshit. There's not going to be a lawsuit. It is YouTube. They have both gone at it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. A judge 
will laugh them out of court. But listen, tell me if this doesn't sound strange. So Natasha says, and I'm going to use some of that 20000 that you all think I just blew, and I'm going to put it towards the 15000 that we're raising for this class action lawsuit. And I'm like, what? What? You owe Gentleman Jack $15,000 and you're sitting, still sitting on money out of the last scam, out of the last 20,000 scam? What? And then boom, she gets a $500 donation. Which was probably Gentleman Jack. Can I just say, Gentleman Jack, when you pay yourself back, it doesn't count. It's like being a man and gambling on your wife's money. It's your money. It's like sitting down at a poker table and somebody wanting to say, will you loan me $100? And they're playing against you. Yes, 20,000 raised to stop YouTube bullying on November 2021, in November 2021. But she still has some of that left over, according to her, because she's going to use it towards the class action lawsuit that she's going to take against Mommy Ramblings, but yet she didn't use it to go towards her debt to her good friend, Gentleman Jack. Can we say fucked up priorities here? At the very least. Right. Now, anytime I've had to deal with an attorney, I've always gotten a receipt. The little lady that sits out at the desk in the front of the attorney's office She's always written out a receipt that says $1,000 retainer in the name of and writes the name out. I've never seen one of those. Don't attorneys for class act. Normally, if you have a good class action lawsuit, your attorney takes that on uh can, on, on contention on whether you win or lose. If you win, they get their money. So, ain't nobody buying it, Natasha, except for Randy. Okay? That's the only one buying it, Natasha. And the couple of clowns that you have setting in your chat. Hey, Daria. I'm making a prediction and I'll stick by it. There will be no class action lawsuit brought against mommy ramblings. And if there is, and there's proof of it, and it goes to court and it gets finalized one way or the other, I'll donate a hundred dollars to the winner. To the winner of that class action lawsuit, I will donate a hundred dollars. Cause it ain't gonna happen people. She done got you for 20 and she's still sitting on part of that when she does her little polls every other day. And she admitted she's still sitting on part of the 20 that you gave her before. What is wrong with you people? Not you people. What is wrong with those people? And again, I don't care what people give Natasha Cooper. 
if you want to keep dumping your social security and everything else into her ass, her fat ass lap, then go right ahead. But she is outright lying to you all. Hey, squirrel sandwich. And, and there sits Randy and them over there freaking supporting it. And then Randy and them want to say, truth, we haven't known Natasha that long. Well, you've known her pretty long, Randy, because Wendy was able to dig up a meme of hers from how many years ago? I wasn't just born yesterday, people. And neither are the people in my chat. But for her to sit there and say she still got money out of that 20000 that she's now going to put towards her next scam. She's going to take money out of her scam to put towards her next scam, which is a class action lawsuit, instead of paying back Gentleman Jack. What is wrong with you, Gentleman Jack? Don't do this or do it and don't sweat whatever you did for Hooker. Don't feel betrayed by Hooker when you got Natasha kicking you in the teeth behind your back left and right. Hey, Huck. That's all I'm going to say is, Gentleman Jack, I don't know you. You seem like a nice lady, but don't you dare sit there and, 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 and say how hurt you are over the money that you gave Hooker when you got Natasha Cooper sitting there stabbing you in the back left and right. She still has money in a $20,000 fund. And the 10000 that she just raised for the website. Has anybody seen the website yet? Is it up and running yet? If it is, could somebody drop the link in here? I'd like to check it out. But instead of paying Gentleman Jack back, She's going to donate that towards her next scam. Bet you don't see her receipt on it. Or if you do, it'll be like the scam she tried to pull on the Gabby Petito fund. Did anybody see that one? when she wrote in to them needing a receipt for what she donated, but they had no record of it. So they were going to have to see some sort of a record of the money that she sent to Gabby Petito's fund in order for them to provide a receipt for the money. No receipt. You going to do that to what you did for uh, the... Missing and exploited children too, Natasha. You going to do that too? Because I gave you kudos for that. You going to go and ask for it back? Because that's what you did to Gabby Petito's fund. Went and asked for a receipt that you knew they weren't going to have because you didn't make the donation. Oh, yeah, Crystal Langford. Yeah, it's on the channel. People of social media. Actually, I was going to use it as my thumbnail. And you know what Natasha was so upset about? Out of everything that I said to her on Randy's panel, do you know what she was upset about? She was upset about um, that she didn't get sued by some Florida news channel. 
that was the big, that was her big woohoo, her big shabam. Hey, monkey's mama. Hey, guess who? Yeah. Literally notified the Gabby Patino Foundation. You know, it was just getting started. Asking for a receipt. I'm sure her people, you know, maybe she felt the need to show her people some sort of a receipt since that's what she was collecting money for. But lo and behold, the fund can't find her money. They don't see where they got any money from Natasha. So they simply ask her to send her bank statement or something. Simple. Well, leads me to believe you didn't um, send the money to the Gabby Petito Fund in the first place, Natasha. Yes, right, closing arguments. And then she wrote to get a receipt. But lo and behold, the foundation had no record. They couldn't give her a receipt because they had no record of her donation. Put that up, Natasha. Prove me wrong, Natasha. I want you to prove me wrong. I want you to prove me wrong. Yes, you made bank off that case. And then you got Randy over there still, as of just yesterday, still saying that Natasha didn't show the pictures of Gannon. When Natasha admitted it and was very proud of it. And even said she didn't give a damn what Gannon's father thought. Right, Squirrel. That's why when she did the donation yesterday, uh, when she got pressured in to donating the money that she uh, she made off of Gannon's autopsy photos. And she didn't she only did it because of Randy's panel. So we accomplished something. And she got a receipt right there. Right there on the spot. Now, why didn't Gabby Petito's people do that for you? She said Gannon's dad is to blame. He should. Oh, no, she didn't. Granny's watching. Do you have that clipped? I totally, be I totally believe that Randy messed up with her. Look at, well, you know what? I would like to give Randy the benefit of the doubt that she messed up by getting involved with Natasha Cooper. But she's talking to her. Granny's watching's got the clip where Natasha Cooper literally said to Gannon's father, he should have kept his penis in his pants. You nasty, nasty, nasty sweat hog pig. I can't, you all, you all. How dare you, Natasha? I thought you were gross when you said uh, you don't give a damn about what Gannon St uh, Stouch's, Staunch's, whatever, father thinks. Yeah, I don't care if Randy cheers her on. 
but I don't want Randy to ever say ever again that they don't support scammers and racists because that's exactly what they're doing. I know British. I know you like Randy and Wendy. And I tried. But Randy's done sold her soul to the devil. And that I can't agree with. She also said she blamed the parents for the autopsy photos being available to the public. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Are you listening, Randy? I know you said you would never listen to me again, but are you listening? Yeah, Granny, send them to Steph, please. Because I didn't hear Natasha say that about uh, hello, egg. <laughs> I didn't hear N Natasha say that. But don't think I won't blast it. Closing arguments. Those receipts are on my channel in Natasha's own words. Wow. 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 If that's true, if Natasha said it, you better hope Jesus takes the wheel. You better hope Jesus takes the wheel. Hey, Carla Ray. You better hope it. And then when I heard Natasha talking, not once, but twice, that Randy's contacting her either via text or um, you sent me an email. I sent you an email. Oh, okay. Hey, Ash. I, I, I mean, like I said, guys, I didn't hear her say that. There's the channel, the people uh, of social media. Um, I know there's other people out there that has stuff on Natasha. And like I said, I don't care if people give their money to Natasha. I, I don't care. If, if that's, you know, I don't care that you throw your money towards Natasha. But Natasha needs to pay back the people she scammed. The innocent people she scammed. Oh, I'm sure. I'll be more than just livid, Copa. So, are you going to continue, if it's true, and Steph's going to get the proof sent to her, but if it turns out it's true, she said that about Gannon's family. Are you still going to support her, Randy? Just because you like her supporters and their money and you like the fact that she doesn't like mommy ramblings. Are you going to get in on this fake class action lawsuit, Randy? Are you down with the fact that, that Natasha admitted that she still has money from the 20000 that she scammed previously, but instead of paying your friend Gentleman Jack back, she's going to put it towards the new scam? Are you down with all of that? Because you really aren't the people I thought you were if you're down with all of that. We've had our go backs and forths, but I never dreamed you'd sell your soul to the fucking devil. Right, Granny's watching. She did claim 
that she had. She didn't. She didn't say she had all of it that I heard. She said, "For all of you all that think I just blew that twenty thousand, well, you didn't do with it what you were supposed to, but I'm going to put part of that towards the class action lawsuit against Mommy Ramblings. Or, I'm sorry, against Merb. Really." Instead of paying your friend back, you're going to tell people that, what? What kind of world do we live in? And Randy's chat and Randy's mods should be livid right now. That Natasha sat over there and trashed them the way that she did. But I guess their hate for me, oh, I'm sorry, they don't hate anybody. Their dislike for me and their dislike for mommy ramblings is more important than protecting their mods and their subs. Because Natasha had a whole hell of a lot to say about them. Exactly, Tawanda. Exactly. I mean, let's face it. If Gentleman Jack ever gets paid back, it'll be because the supporters did so. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. I won't say a word about that. If Gentleman Jack ever gets paid back, it'll be because Natasha's supporters did it. But that's okay. At least... Someone got paid back. Yes, British, when she got caught at the casino. I can't watch. Randy has one of the worst chat, and I'll say it, and I don't give a shit. Who cares? Randy has one of the most vicious chats in this community. And you know what made me think and made me realize that I was right? Granny's watching. I'm going to call you out for a minute because I know that you like Randy and Wendy, but you went over there one day and I was on the panel. And then you went live the next day and you didn't know me from Adam's house cat. Still don't. And you said on your live, I like Randy and Wendy, but there was this lady up on their panel, me, and their chat was horrible. And I thought, well, my goodness, somebody that I don't know that doesn't know me. It, it's not just me they're mean to like that granny's watching. That, that ain't, it ain't just me. I mean, obviously, it made Natasha cry. They ain't never made me cry, and they never will make me cry. In order to cry, I have to care. But I don't watch their chat anymore when I go on panel. But we don't have to worry about that anymore. Because I've gotten the hard block all the way down to Google. And they're never speaking on me again. They tried to be my friend. Well, we didn't have to be friends, Randy and Wendy. But you didn't have to sell out either. You didn't have to sell out to a scammer. And a racist pig just for subs and those subs money. And I said it and I mean it. You could have had your say about m mommy ramblings all you wanted, all on your own, Randy. But you had to team up. With the likes of Natasha freaking Cooper. And that. Is what made me come up on your panel. And tell you about your fucking selves. No I didn't get a sticker. I just got told. Well, Truth, we really wanted you to like us. 
but it's apparent you're not going to. So I'm just going to block you, and I'm going to make Wendy promise to never watch your lives again. And Wendy said, I promise I won't, Randy. Like I said, you teamed up with, with Natasha. That was your downfall. You gained some subs and you gained some subs with a little bit of cash. But you sold your you sold your soul to the devil to do it. I've lost any respect I might have ever had for either one of you. When I came to the DC, that was not how it was done. The number one rule was you don't support scammers and you don't support pigs. Don't worry, it's just a matter of time before some private chat or something gets out and Natasha gets wind of what her supporters have been donating to Randy and or Wendy. Natasha's going to have a total come apart. And they'll have their falling out. Drama community, guess who? It's just a matter of time. And I'm going to laugh. Oh, look, I got 222 in my chat. I got to rub it. That's good luck. And I'm going to laugh. And not I'm not going to laugh because of anybody's hurt and pain. But I'm going to laugh just like I did when they welcomed Samara with open arms knowing what she did to me. And then Samara turned around and took shit out of their discord. Yeah, I laughed. Sorry. Sleep with dogs, you get fucking fleas. And you got a bunch of fucking fleas, Randy. Oh, they always attack whoever's on panel, black-hearted. Hey, Trisha, not Trish. Right, Mandy? It was funny. You knew exactly what Samara was about, and you welcomed her with open arms. Yes, those are vegan fleas. You knew what she did to me. But you were like, come on over, Samara. We'll be your friend. We'll be good to you, Samara. And then she jabbed it right in your ass. That's true hate bonding there, Randy. That is some true hate bonding. And it bit you right in your little pea-picking butt. So when I went on panel, I didn't know them or DC rules of clips needed on the spot. Oh, yeah. They want proof. Right then. Right then. Right then. Right then. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. But see, I'm not one, Granny's watching, to go back and sit through every one of their freaking lives. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about the meme and the college kid thing. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about how ridiculous that is, okay? Because Natasha's little, little bullshit pile of crap she threw to me over the meme about the um, KKK suit and um, uh, being Grandpa's COVID suit or whatever. You know, the one I got the rap for. Sorry, Amanda, but I did. Um, now, Natasha was, do you know, I thought it was funny because the college kids didn't know what it was about. What fucking college kids? What college kids, Natasha?
I know, Bolo. I know. What college kids? What do college kids have to do with that meme? Do you entertain college kids in your in your um uh your uh Facebook group? If so, creepy, creepy. You just pick that shit right up out of your recliner, throw it at the wall, and see if it sticks. What did Natasha do to Gypsy Rose Blanchard? What Natasha did wasn't directly to Gypsy Rose Blanchard. What Natasha did was raise a bunch of money and say she was going to get the, all the transcripts for the Gypsy Rose Blanchard case and cover the case. Well, she didn't. You heard that Gypsy is really? Okay, that's just hearsay. I don't know it for sure. I don't know what she did to Gypsy Rose. All I know is she took out a bunch, she took out one of her scams and um, she was going to go get the uh, transcripts and she was going to cover the case and then she didn't get the transcripts. Natasha's a female Al Sharpton. <laughs> Yeah, the money she raised to go to Savannah, Georgia during the Quentin case. Never did. Sold shirts and bracelets. Raised money to feed cats that never fed. Asked for travel costs. Oh, my God. See, Natasha, I haven't even scratched the surface on you yet. Just... Pay back the innocent people you hurt. And nobody gives a damn about your money, Natasha. Just pay back the innocent people that you've scammed. And then keep on getting your money. Keep on getting your grift on. I just donated to Gabby Petito Foundation and got an automatic receipt. No, Squirrel, I don't need to see it. I believe you. <laughs> Steph. <laughs> but thank you. Because I knew you would. But if you go, and I'll just put it on my community post. I'll put it on my community post where she's asking for a receipt. I guess to show her people that she's not a scammer. And they have no record of her money, so they can't give her a receipt. Or you can just go over there and watch it on um, that channel, social media of YouTube. Yeah, she really did cry. Hey, Jonathan. Natasha cries all the time. Acts like a big old badass and then sits up there and turns the tears on. But the more the cry, the more the money you get. The harder the tears fall, the faster the dollars roll in. We all know that. We all know that, don't we? You didn't see me cry yesterday. Randy cried. One one cried. Natasha cried. I was the only one that didn't cry. And I'm not making fun because one win cried. And let, hey, Clary, and let me tell you something else, Natasha, you lying bitch. I did not speak on your children. I spoke on what you did to your child. I did not speak on your children. And anybody that goes and listens to the live can hear it. Yes, Mountain Vibes. She said she will never go on Randy's again. 
because of the way she was. Oh, Tinker sent the Tinker sent the receipt. Well, I can't click buttons, you all, or I'll click myself right out of here. No, Harley girl. Actually, I had my live set up for tomorrow, and then I changed the time. And before I could even get the time changed, Randy had already set up hers. What would I be jealous of, Harley girl? You want a link, Harley girl? You want a link? And come up here and tell me what I'm jealous of. She's Natasha has spoke on many of kids. Just listen to some Harley girl. You want a link, baby? Harley girl, aka German dude. Is that German lady? German lady. Why you let your friends get away with calling you German dude, but you have a total cow when your enemies do it. Why you let Starlight get away with that? Calling you German dude. But you let Steph or Rex or one of them say it, and you have a total come apart. You dox them and everything else. I don't understand it. Explain it to me, Harley girl. If that is German lady. In my humble opinion. But that is a question I've wanted to ask German lady for a while. Why didn't she have a total come apart when Starlight called her German dude? I don't call her German dude. I call her German lady. Yes, Starlight called, called her German dude. No, she's, sadly to say, you're right, go girl. Yes, Clary girl, where have you been? You've had your head buried somewhere. Yeah, yeah, Natasha. You asked me if I was scoping out your house. No, girl. You got all that surveillance system around your house. Remember the man that was in the shower and ran out of your house, but he stopped and closed the door behind him and all that? Kimmy P. did too. Hmm. Wonder why German lady didn't fire up a live. Honest question there, German lady. All that surveillance that you raised money for, because you're not scared of anybody. Remember, Natasha? Isn't that what you said yesterday? You're not scared of anybody, but yet you had to have all this surveillance because of the, what was it, the C, the uh, FedEx man was scaring you or something? Yeah, the very polite burglar. The, the, the very, very polite burglar. I'm surprised he didn't do his dishes. I'll do your dishes on the way out. I just don't know why she doesn't pay back Gentleman Jack if she has money still sitting in that $20,000 scam. Why not pay back your friend before you start a class action lawsuit that's going to go absolutely nowhere? No one's ever going to see a receipt. No one's ever going to see any action come from it. And like I said, if you do it, I will donate $100 to the winner, whether it's you or Mommy Ramblings. May the best woman win. But don't think Mommy Ramblings isn't going to show all the shit you have done to her back. But I'm getting off here, guys. I'm not spending any more of my evening on this bullshit. I was going to do this tomorrow, and I thought, no, I'd rather sit in Discord and laugh at these fools than to waste my day. And no, I don't have any plans tomorrow. 
I'm not going to any old rundown prison. Um, I wished I was because that kind of stuff interests me too. But I'm not going to Alcatraz or East Alcatraz or I don't have any of those kind of plans. So it's just going to be me here at home. And I appreciate the people that has come in here. Hey, Kim with a little eye. I really do appreciate you supporting my stream. And I, I appreciate you supporting what's right. And what's right is not to allow people like Natasha Cooper. She can make her money. I don't care. I don't think people care about her money. But what's right is to not allow her to continue to scam innocent people. Victims of crime, for God's sakes. I don't make your money, Natasha. Nobody is sweating your fucking chocolate chip cookie money. But quit doing it off the backs of innocent people. Thanks, Steph. And when I get that recording, if you said that, about Gannon's family, you better believe, bitch, I'm going to blast it on loud. I will put it on loop. And then I'll call out everybody that fucking supports you. I got time. So let's just hope you didn't say that. So with that, guys, I am, I'm, I know, I'm, I'm not big on numbers and stuff. I mean, I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. Hey, Mama Bear. Joanice, you need to hit me up in my messages. I need to talk to you about something. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. I, you know, I'm not looking to go into a new community. I'm just calling out what I feel is right. And what's right is calling out people that scam innocent people. I mean, I, you know, everybody in their community, I wish them well. You know, I hope they're, I, I think they're called the Krama community. I'm not sure. I've just, I've never, I don't have any desire to, I mean, I might, don't get me wrong. I might be lurking because I'm a lurker, you know, always watching, but never knows what the hell is going on. But I'm just saying, please, please, please. If you see something, say something. If you see somebody scamming off the backs of innocent people. Then say something. And Randy and Wendy. Shame on you, man. Shame on you. All right, guys, I'm jumping off. It's You all know me. I'm in bed by 9. It's already 829. So I'm jumping off. I appreciate you coming in, supporting my channel. Um, hit the thumbs up, the thumbs down, whatever. I don't care. Pick a thumb, any thumb. Um, and just try to be good. And what's good is you don't you don't scam innocent people. So, all right, guys, I will see you around the tubes. Have a great night. Natasha, if I hear that recording of what you said about Gannon's family, I'm going to blast it because that's nasty. That's nasty. All right, bye. Bye, guys.